I had a lot of good questions coming in this week. They were incredibly they good. They were. They yes. were so good. And you're always happy when you have good questions. Oh, I, I can sink my teeth. One of the most popular questions on the site that we posted was this woman who wrote in, and she was asking whether she ruined her clitoris from too much pressure. She masturbates by leaning against objects. No, she uses a magic wand, and she puts it on her clit direct. But as a child, she would always yeah, rub. Yeah, it's you know how like, you see kids rubbing on the edge of the sofa? I get this all the time. They're humping a, a, a piece of furniture, <laughs> or on the edge of a hard-stuffed sofa arm, or the bed, bed post. I mean, it's... Ugh. And guys... I can do it, too. One of Eric's friends, he's, he's since healed, him, healed himself, but he was humping on the floor, pressing his dick into the into the rug. You know, I mean, it had a rug on it, but it was, that's hard surface. That's hard, and plus, you're getting that kind of friction, that burn. You know well, what I mean? You're rubbing against carpet. And carpet burn. And when he had sex with a woman, he couldn't come inside her vagina. Because it's not the right... Same pressure. thing. Same yeah. thing. The guys that are going... <laughs> Death grip on your penis. Yeah. So they can't... The, the vagina is, is... So can you ruin your clitoris from too much pressure? Um, all right, now, do I know the physiology of this, and have there, and do we have any reports of, of totally desensitized clits? I don't know that yet, but I do know that all mucous membrane in the body heals pretty quick. Yeah. So, I'm concerned about this, and I'm the person who put vibrators into the marketplace when I was teaching, but I taught women how to use the vibrators in the workshop. Don't leave it in one position, and don't push it down into your genitals. Now, you, I, do they right? read this? Yeah, that's that's. You keep it in one spot, and you push, and you think you're gonna you're gonna. When I first started, get that orgasm as fast. When I first can. started talking about using the magic, it was the magic wand. That was the one I used, and the one we used in the yeah. workshops. I always said this repeatedly. Put a piece of fabric between you and the vibrator. Don't start off even low. Low is too strong. So On bare genitals. What am that's I? a lot. Yeah. You what know? am I going to do now? Well, I like how you put the sweat sock over the head of your Hitachi. One system, or a washcloth, or leave your underwear on. I used to do it with uh, no underwear and sweatpants, and I would put the Hitachi down. At least you had a cushion. And it fabric. was cushioned. Do it on top of the covers, but then you see your mother might walk in and <laughs> then put it underneath the covers. And keep it moving. Move it around in circles, moving up and down the length of your vulva. Don't keep it in one place. Now, why are we so like focused on getting the quickest orgasm? <laughs> oh, I'm going to say it again. We are still using the male model of sexual response for women. Guys can come in a moment. They get turned on by looking at a hot, naked woman. They get... I mean, it's so easy for them to get aroused. We have to go through all kinds of machinations. You know, when I could, when I had orgasms from fucking, he had to be gorgeous. I had to be <laughs> madly in love. I had to be on top, <laughs> and I had to be on top. I mean, there was a whole series of things that yes. had to be in place. So, it's our clitoris that is our base, basic sex organ. Yes, and building sexual energy. You know, I feel like you, we deserve pleasure, and it can take some time. And who cares? Take an hour and have some great orgasms. Why can't we do that? And it, I find myself doing that in partner sex. I want to come faster. That's and always, I stop that's, myself. That's always the pressure on women to, to, you know. But I did it to myself. Like, no, no, no. You know that when someone goes down on you, you're concerned about how long they have to be there. Exactly. But that's me. If they're there and they're not saying, making any complaints and they're sitting there and they're getting off, why am I putting that on myself? That I have to come faster now. And when you do that and you start chasing the orgasm, that's when you lose it. We have been conditioned for centuries to protect the male ego. To always make sure Johnny is happy and that everything is okay. Mommy started that process the day he was born a boy. Got it. So it's about us just accepting It's a, we have to our know sexual selves in a way. That we deserve to have our orgasms on our terms. And how many times have I had sex with a guy, and he's over and satisfied and snoring in bed next to me, and I pick up my vibrator and finish up, and I kept saying, fucking is foreplay for masturbation when it comes to female sexuality. Ooh, I like that. Can I say that again? Yes. Fucking is foreplay for women, and we'll have our orgasm after he's fallen off and gone to sleep. There's nothing wrong with that, absolutely. No. As long, see, here's the thing. As long as each of us has an orgasm, that's all we need. 
we don't need to have the bigger or the better, but we each get to have our end pleasure. And it's not going to happen simultaneously. It has, it can. It's like the unicorn, though. Yeah. The sex unicorn. It. Don't do don't it. Don't count on it. So, women and guys, love your sex organ. Women, love your clits. Know that she deserves to be gentle, handled sweetly, and take your time. Now go practice the right way.